Hello everybody, this is Kotu J. Today I will show you how to connect and manage the MySQL database by the command line. Sounds exciting? Let's get started. Let's open the terminal. Using the command MySQL dash dash version, we can see we have MySQL version 8.0.31 installed. To connect to our MySQL database server, we need to run the command mysql h localhost capital P 3306 u root p. In this command, we tell mysql to connect the mysql server on my local host with default port 3306 and use username root and password. If you have customized the MySQL server port, you need to change the port accordingly. If the MySQL server you want to connect is running on another machine or cloud, you need to change localhost to either the IP address or domain name of the MySQL server host. OK, hit the Enter key, give the password, and hit Enter then we have connected to MySQL. On the left, the C shell prompt changed to MySQL, which also indicates that we have connected to MySQL. Type exit and hit enter to exit MySQL. It outputs by and the C shell prompt changes back. If we are connecting to MySQL server on the local host, and the port is by default 3306, you know what? We can simply remove them and only use the command mysql-u root-p to connect. When we connect to the MySQL server, sometimes we may be refused with an error message like can't connect to local MySQL server through socket. On Mac OS, we need to go to the System Preferences and click MySQL. Here we can see the MySQL server is not running. We have to click Start MySQL Server, give the password, then go back to the terminal to connect again. Now it works. On Windows, we need to search for Services in the search bar and then open it. Scroll down to find the service with the name MySQL80. Right click it and select Start. Then go back to the command prompt and just try the connect command again. Once we connect it, we can use the query statement to get the data that we want. For example, using the command select version parentheses semicolon. It returns the data as a table with the column header name version parentheses and row value 8.0.31. By default, MySQL is not case sensitive. It means that we can get the same result no matter how we capitalize the query statement partially or totally. To query multiple values, we just need to add more keywords and separate them by a comma. For example, select version parentheses, comma, current date, semicolon. It returns a table with two columns. The first row is the header, version parentheses, and current date. The second row is their values. Since the video was recorded on 2022, December 9th, the value of the current date is 2022, December 9th. MySQL also allows us to write the query statement in multiple lines. Let's say we input select version, comma, and hit enter. It will not execute the query statement and we found the right error sign on the prompt, which tells us that MySQL is waiting for us to finish the query statement. We can continue writing our query 
until we input the semicolon sign and hit enter. Then it will be executed and the results will be returned. During writing our query statement, sometimes we may want to cancel what is already written and start over. In this case, we can simply use the command slash C to accomplish it. We can also use the Ctrl and C keys to achieve the same goal. To list all the existing databases, we can use the simple command show databases semicolon. The result shows that we have four databases. To create a new database, we can use the command create database, then followed by the database name, for example, db new. It returns query OK, one row affected. Let's run the show databases command again. Now we see five databases, including our newly created database db new. Basically, you can create as many databases as you need. Usually, we have many databases, so we need to indicate which database the query statement is going to run on. We can check which database are we currently in by the command select database parentheses semicolon. It returns none, which means we didn't select any database yet. We can simply select any database we want to work on by the command use followed by the database name, for example, our newly created database db new. The output says the database changed. Let's run the select database query statement again to verify. Now it shows we are currently in database db new. You know what? We can actually tell MySQL to directly connect to the specific database in the MySQL connect command. Let's exit and bring back our MySQL connect command. Here, we just need to add the name of the database we want to connect before dash P. Input password to connect. Then run the command select database parentheses semicolon. We see that we have been in the database db new. To delete a database, we can simply use the command drop database followed by the name of the database we want to delete. For example, db new. Run the command show databases. We confirmed that database db new has been deleted. That's it. You have learned how to connect and manage MySQL database via the command line. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the like button. Feel free to share what SQL topic you want me to cover in the comment section. I will talk to you at the next one. Bye-bye.